Air India has seen a strong underperformance this year itself and on a one year basis also while you have seen broking stocks like IFL Securities, MOSL and even Angel were outperforming their company and the company itself has just given almost 23% returns in this year where there has been a significant rally when it comes to the broking stocks. Now of course what is ailing Share India Securities, that is an important thing to look out. A stock is down almost 18% from its 52-week high levels. And interestingly, the IPO has been delayed of Archit Newwood. Over there, the queries were also raised by exchanges. And also what we saw in the numbers, especially in the promoter shareholding numbers, there has been a decrease in the promoting shareholding as well. Overall, recently there was one more announcement which of course investors had not taken it on a right spirit. That was the cancellation of acquisition of the DSM Fresh Foods as well. So these are the current factors where the important kind of a downward movement was seen in the stock itself. Now interestingly, there is a problem coming in the SME IPO space as well. Its company Archit Nuvud would be in focus where the IPO delay was there due to the queries raised by the exchanges and the, were there itself, the focus was there on company's profitability versus the peers and there was a sudden increase in the margin seen in, the, in just one year before the IPO of the company. The margins are almost double of the peers of Rushil Decor and Century Plywood and if you look at the overall margins, the company mentioned 20% mad pat margins in FY24. This IPO is managed by Share India and overall currently it has nothing has been communicated yet at what is going to happen for this issue. Now the Share India's issues in 2024 includes names such as VVIP Infratech, Jev Infra, AVP Infra to name a few as well. Now also media reports are suggesting that SEBI is investigating six domestic investment banks that have worked on small business offerings as well. Now SEBI is worried on the malpractices which might be involved in the SME IPO space and a higher fees may have been charged to show up high subscription fees. So we at ET now always maintain to exercise caution, especially in the euphoria in the SME IPO segment.